by sedation can you tell anyone ha huh? sedation mane thik organ korar noy sedation means anyone sleep right yes ha huh? to some extent <coughs> so sedation means sleep to induce sleep and hypnosis means <coughs> hypnosis means to some extent altered consciousness right so our discussion today will be drugs which cause sedation as well as alternness alternation in the consciousness so you see one of the few drugs you probably all of you know that is alprazolam you know alprazolam so alprazolam is subject of discussion today so <coughs> it's a vast topic so <coughs> break it into question answer format okay so first is you see what is a sedative so an agent that reduce anxiety and exert a calmness calming effect what is hypnotic an agent that produce drowsiness and encourage the onset and maintenance of a state of sleep so it produces drowsiness hypnosis will produce drowsiness and sedatives will produce just sleep preferably no drowsiness so what is the most clinically significant difference between them so what is the difference between a sedative and a hypnotic what is the difference so difference is within their therapeutic range hypnotics cause profound central nervous system depression which is minimum in a case of sedative so you write please open your no notebook and write this point this is very important what is the difference between a sedative and a hypnotic so in case of hypnotic it will cause cns depression always remember in case of hypnotic it will cause cns depression and in case of sedative there will be no cns depression only sedation okay what structural properties are responsible for the sedative hypnotic effect so you see see this is the molecule of a sedative hypnotic drug okay this is the molecule and you observe the seventh position this position okay this is very important position why because this is structure of diazepam <coughs> so sedation and hypnosis depends upon this seventh position why an electro negative substituents in the seventh position such as halogen or a nitro group is required for sedative hypnotic activity so what is why why this diazepam is causing sedation or hypnosis because it has a substituent of halogen or nitro group in the seventh position as you can see that is responsible for its effect is it clear is it clear any doubt no <clears throat> so what is a sedative it causes produce sleep and and reduces anxiety calmness what is hypnosis hypnosis causes hypnotic causes alteration in the consciousness because it depresses the cns okay <clears throat> why there is sedative hypnotic effect because there is halogen or nitro group on the seventh position clear next so how to classify okay classification you see sedative hypnotics can be broadly classified into these groups one is benzodiazepines like one is barbiturates newer hypnotics and these are lesser important things but basically these three are the most important one 
So you see, benzodiazepines, you know the name, alprazolam. You know, alprazolam, everybody has heard. Okay? Alprazolam. Chlorodiazepoxide, chlorazepate, lorazepam, triazolam, oxazepam, midazolam. These are benzodiazepines. Okay? So you see, there are few green and few blue. You see? There are few blue and few green. So green are sedatives. You see, green are sedatives. And these blue, they are mainly hypnotics. Okay? So, <clears throat> you see, lorazepam, it can act both as a sedative and as a hypnotic. So first classification is benzodiazepines and you have to name the benzodiazepines. Very important for your <clears throat> theory exam. Next is barbiturates. Barbiturates ki phenobarbitone. You see phenobarbital or pentobarbital and then secobarbital. These are not very much used right now. Phenobarbital is still used in case of epileptic seizures. <coughs> Next is newer hypnotics. Newer hypnotics, zolpidem, zaleplon and azopiclone. These are newer agents. Then melatonin receptor agonist, rameltion and 5-HT receptor agonist, baspiron. These are not expected from you, but we expect when you ask, when, I, when we ask that, name some sedative hypnotics. The, at least you should name benzodiazepines, alprazolam, midazolam, okay, lorazepam, diazepam, at least you should name and you should name the barbiturates. A phenobarbiton, okay, secobarbital, at least you should name. It's good to tell if you can name the Z drugs. Z drugs means newer hypnotics, okay? That is zaleplon, zolpidem, azopricon. These are Z drugs. So blue, all blue are hypnotics and all green are sedatives. <coughs> what pharmacokinetic properties influence the effects of sedative and hypnotics? So what Highly lipid soluble, can it cross the blood brain barrier? Yes, right? Right. So these drugs are highly lipid soluble, so these drugs can cross the blood barrier. So as a result, what we have there is CNSF, right? So you see, highly lipid soluble, triazolam, diazepam, clodazepate, barbiturates. Benefit key have rapidly absorbed into the blood and through blood brain barrier. So, rapid, so you give IV or oral, it keeps rapidly absorbed. Okay? Has, hence have a rapid onset of action. That's why when a patient comes in the emergency with a scissor, epileptic shock, okay? We prefer lorazepam. We prefer lorazepam because we inject lorazepam and it will act within 10 to 15 minutes. Okay? So, drug of choice in case of epileptic seizure in an emergency is lorazepam. That is the cause. What is the adverse effect? Adverse effect is can cross placenta also. Right? If it, if it can cross the blood brain barrier, it can also cross the placenta. So, contraindicated in case of pregnancy. You cannot give alprazolam in a pregnant mother. Right? Same thing happens in case of <coughs> lactating mothers secreted in the breast milk. So, depressing effect on the nursing infant. So, a pregnant lady, a lactating mother, you should not give alprazolam or benzodiazepines. Okay? So, what happens? You see orally taken, highly lipophilic. So, as a result, rapid absorption through intestinal wall, process blood brain barrier, process placenta, get secreted in the breast milk, high elimination half life. What do you understand by elimination half life? Anyone? <coughs> Can you tell what is half life? Anybody?
three types of optimal. Read. Very important. Three types of half life. One is plasma half life. Okay. Study what is plasma half life. Number two is elimination half life. Okay. Number one is plasma half life. Number two is elimination half life. And number three is pharmacological effect half life. Pharmacological effect half life. So you read the three from your book. What is elimination half life? When the 50% of the drug is eliminated. Okay, that is elimination half life. So, these drugs have high elimination half life. Why high elimination half life? I am coming to the point. So, prolonged action. <clears throat> so, half life, long elimination half life, as you can see. <coughs> Alprazolam, it has a half life of 15 hours, as you can see. So, high life of Sudden action, rapid onset, and prolonged action. That's why, after that, we say, "Every patient, we have to last till the whole shift is covered." So, we say, "A short follow-up will be taken." You take the medicine 15 minutes before you go to bed. Why? Because follow-up will be taken. So, the action starts. High level of it. Again, patient comes to your chamber and tells. That doctor of Uraka to Bumoche in the quarantine official tumor. Why? Because Alprazolam has an elimination half life of 15 hours. So the drug remains in the body. Okay? And XR67. Okay? So, benefit key single dose at night can cover the whole sleep time. Right? So it's not practical, right? So once dosing system at night it covers the whole thing. When higher doses are used, less chances of withdrawal syndrome because eliminated gradually. So slowly eliminated. So what is the adverse effect of this point? Adverse effect is, see, our sleep has three, four patterns as you know, right? Both of them check the sleep onset by latency period. Then there are REM sleeps, non-REM sleeps, right? So, <clears throat> a humanosuculus, those drugs which are required for insomnia, that the target of it, the patient is to boom for it will induce the sleep. But problem ki hai, these older drugs, benzodiazepines, alprazolam, they not only induce sleep, so the patient ke boom for hai, patient with a sleep pattern, REM, non-REM, it hampers the sleep pattern. Okay. So what happens? Induce sleep onset, but also affect REM and stage 4 non-REM sleep, which is absolutely unwanted. Our sleep ke mo ho medicine ke mo If it decides, then I will be drowsy next time. Barbiturates have even longer half-lives. Pentobarbital 18 hours, pentobarbital 4 to 5 days. Chart theke pass din, even its elimination half-life may stay. So what happens? There is cumulative effect. Do you know what is cumulative effect? Huh? Ha ha ball. না দু ও বলছে দু তিনটে ড্রাগ একসাথে ইউজ করলে যে এফেক্টটা হবে কিউমুলেটিভ দ্যাট ইজ ড্রাগ ইন্টারঅ্যাকশন হোয়াট ইজ কিউমুলেটিভ এফেক্ট ইউ সি হোয়াট ইজ কিউমুলেটিভ এফেক্ট আই অ্যাম গিভিং এ ড্রাগ ওকে এই ড্রাগটা তো বেরিয়ে যাওয়ার কথা
phase 2 that is conjugation and finally to water soluble form and excreted in the urine. So you see any drug that may inhibit CYP3A4, CYP3A4 like ketoconazole cimetidine, CYP3A4 inhibitor that will have a drug interaction with alprazolam, right? Any CYP3A4 inducer like ifampicin, okay? They will have lesser effect on the drug. Also, I mean, ask boy, it is very interesting. Those who are alcoholics, okay, those who consume alcohol at a high dose every night, likely alprazolam will not act. Jara roj ratte drink kore, tadir alprazolam de, patient will tell that, Dr. Oshude kaj hoi na. 
কেন অ্যালপ্রাজোলাম আর অ্যালকোহল দুটোর ক্রস টলারেন্স হয় অর্থাৎ যে پیشنট অ্যালপ্রাজোলাম খায় হাই ডোজে তার অ্যালকোহল খেলে নেশা হবে না আর যে অ্যালকোহল খায় হাই ডোজে তার অ্যালপ্রাজোলামে ঘুম আসবে না ওকে দিস দিস উই ইউজ ইন কেস অফ অ্যালকোহল ডিপেন্ডেন্স আসছে কেউ আছে যারা যারা আছে জেনে রাখো তো এক্সক্রিশন সো হোয়াট ইজ এক্সক্রিশন নেক্সট যাচ্ছে না তো সো ইউ সি মেইনলি এক্সক্রিটেড ফায়ার ইউনিট ওকে অল দিস স্টাফ মেইনলি এক্সক্রিটেড ফায়ার ইউনিট এস ওয়াটার সলিউবল ফেজ 2 মেটাবলিক চেঞ্জেস ইন রেনাল ফাংশন হ্যাভ নো এফেক্ট সো ইন কেস অফ এ সিকেডি پیشنট having kidney problem it can be valved okay phenobarbital is excreted unchanged in urine 30 to 40 percent now 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 ever ever at a cool important explain why okay write the question write the question a question you just got a j right force alkaline diuresis force alkaline diuresis diuresis is done in case of phenobarbital poisoning explain why acha keno ne keno dekhana da jabe na antidote aschi aschi ab oi jonno to korchi oi jonno to korchi bujhi ni ha bol oi jonno that 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 is the cause you see what happens <coughs> urine is normally acidic so this is the tubular fluid this is acidic okay the drug is coming into the urine you see phenobarbital is excreted unchanged in urine 30 to 40 percent so what will happen acidic drug in acidic medium it will be reabsorbed okay the like phenobarbital urine is jacche abar urine theke reabsorption hoy plasma that is the reason it has long half life urine e jay abar plasma e phire ashe because urine is acidic the drug is also acidic okay so <clears throat> what happens in case of toxicity what you can do if we alkalize the urine right alkaline mixture to jana patient ki di and if we alkalize the urine make the urine alkaline so what will happen there will be acidic drug in an alkaline urine so less reabsorption the drug will be eliminated from it clear any doubt about it so that that is why in case of phenobarbital overdose forced alkaline diuresis can be helpful that is alkalizing the urine the drug can be excreted out okay <clears throat> so acidic drugs reabsorbed in acidic tubular fluid forced alkaline diuresis will make the urine alkaline and acidic drug will be excreted out So how does this now? This is the pharmacokinetics. Now pharmacokinetics. Okay. 
So what type of dose response relationship can be observed in sedative hypnotherapy? This is very important. You see, it is a little bit of a push. Graded dose dependent depression of the CNS function. You see, you see, this is the CNS effect. Okay? And this is the dose. So you see, this is a, this is a linear relationship. You know, this is a linear relationship. So initially what happens when you give a sedative? or hypnotic, there is initially sedation, right? Then there is, you higher the dose, then there is hypnosis. You higher the dose, then there is anesthesia. You higher the dose, there is coma. Okay? So what happens? Barbiturates. Barbiturates. Phenobarbital, secobarbital, pentobarbital. They have linear dose response relationship. So you higher the dose, patient will be initially sedated, then there will be hypnosis, then there will be anesthesia, and if higher the dose in toxicity, the patient will go into coma. Okay? Not happens in case of alcohol. In case of alcohol, what happens? In case of alcohol, what happens? You see, this is the dose, CNS effect, sedation, hypnosis, anesthesia, coma, and it becomes like this. Okay? So what happens? You see, after a certain point, it becomes nearly flat. Not flat, nearly flat. So what happens if you increase the dose, there will be sedation, there will be hypnosis, there will be mild anesthesia like that. Patient will, will tell that I will have to Okay. That happens in case of benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines and newer agents have non-linear relationships. You see, non-linear relationships. That means Hence, higher doses are required for them to induce the same effect. So it is safer. You see, these drugs, toxicity may happen. And these drugs, less chance of toxicity. It is a more safer. Right? Now come to the receptor. So this is a, you see, please don't talk. Please, this is a very important topic. This is a GABA receptor. Huh? Devo. So you see, there is GABA receptor. Okay, a receptor take a mechanic who put together the Hachi. You see, eight a receptor, even a taki who put together the Hanot. It's like a petals of lily, Amrabul. Petals of lily. Okay, lily fuller, patar moto, fuller moto. You see, yes, so you see, there are various subunits alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, so alpha, beta, gamma, alpha, beta. Okay, you can tell like that. So, you can see how many drugs are added. Write it. Write this one. Very important. Very important. The site of action of benzodiazepines. Site of action of benzodiazepines. How many benzodiazepines are you see, between the alpha and gamma, between the alpha and gamma subunit of GABA channel. See, between the alpha and gamma, benzodiazepine binding site. You see, a data. Follow? Next. Next you write. J. <coughs> competitive antagonist of benzodiazepine. Eglo shab MCQ. Eglo bolchi. Competitive antagonist of benzodiazepine. Borikhya question jigash kora hobe. 
Name a competitive antagonist of benzodiazepine at GABA receptor. Flumazenil. F L U M A Z E N I L. Flumazenil. F L U M A Z E N I L. Flumazenil. Okay. The newer drugs, Zolpidem, Azapiclone. Okay. They also act in the same place between alpha and gamma. Okay. Next. Inverse agonist. Inverse agonist at GABA receptor. Inverse agonist at GABA receptor. So, check beta carbolin. Beta carbolin. It is an inverse agonist for benzodiazepine at GABA receptor. Hello? Beta carbolin. Okay. So, you see, flumazenil is a competitive inhibitor of benzodiazepine. So, in case of benzodiazepine toxicity, patient does not have a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. If you have a problem, you can't get a problem. And it will cause. Depressing effect on the CAS. So, GABA is basically an inhibitory responsive receptor. Okay? Main response is CNS inhibition. Achha, benzodiazepine kodhaya kach kare? Eh, sorry, barbiturates kodhaya kach kare? Barbiturates has a different site. You see, this is barbiturate binding site. So, this is benzodiazepine binding site. This is barbiturate binding site. And this is separate. This is GABA binding site. So, GABA in GABA receptor binds between alpha and beta, not alpha and gamma. Okay? So, GABA receptor is different from benzodiazepine receptor or barbiturate receptor. Okay? Bicuculin is competitive antagonist of GABA. So, bicuculin is a competitive antagonist of GABA and GABA receptor. Okay? Tricky question. Benzodiazepine competitive antagonist alada flumazenil. GABAR competitive antagonist alada, that is bicuculin. Very important. Now you see, why there is different in action between barbiturates and benzodiazepines, although they bind with the same receptor. So you see, <coughs> barbiturates are hypnotics. They cause hypnosis. And benzodiazepines, they do not cause hypnosis. They only cause sedation. But they are acting on the same receptor. Duto ito aki receptor so you see, this is the receptor. Very important. You write this point. You write this point. Benzodiazepines. It, it are very important. You write this point. It Benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines. Increase benzodiazepines increase the frequency frequency of GABA channel opening. Benzodiazepines increase the frequency of GABA channel opening. Tar mane mane idhar GABA channel ta close aache to benzodiazepine ki kochche bar 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 frequency ta bari diche opening. Barbar kore khulche to right ta patiche. Barbar kore. Okay? So, it causes sedation mainly. And bar so, that's why, full stop this is, that's why, benzodiazepines are called GABA facilitator. Not GABA minor. GABA facilitator. Okay? GABA facilitatory is benzodiazepine. Okay? What is barbiturates? Barbiturates. He will not benzodiazepine. Frequency to barach. Channel to open. Barbiturates. He called it. Channel to deal for so much for that. So barbiturates does. Barbiturates increases. Barbiturates increases. The duration. The duration of gamma channel opening. So barbiturates causes increase in duration. Of the GABA channel opening. 
So barbiturates are GABA mimetic. So barbiturates are GABA mimetic. That is the basic difference between benzodiazepine and barbiturates in mechanism of action. Now you see. See, again we have told them, we have told them, this is alpha, beta, alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha, beta, and gamma, gamma add hoy, or alpha and gamma are the benzodiazepine add hoy. Now you see, alpha can be subdivided into alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, and alpha 5. Okay. Ki kore? Alpha may be alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 5. Alpha 1 mediates sedation, amnesia, and ataxia. Mainly not ataxia, mainly sedation and amnesia. Which is alpha 1. Alpha 2 and 3 mediate anxiolytic and muscle relaxation effect. Okay? Tale alpha 1 is the same as sedation and amnesia. Amnesia is the amnesia. And alpha 2 and alpha 3 mediate anxiolytic or tension to come on. And muscle to relax. That is responsible for alpha 2 and alpha 3. So alpha 5 is also. So benzodiazepines bind with all. Benzodiazepine ki koche, amar alpha 1 o lag che, da phole sedation koche, amnesia koche, alpha 2 te koche, patient te chinta hoche, anxiety koche, tere anxiety te koche, muscle te relax koche, kiwa re koche, because it has action on alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. But newer drugs, toleton, azapitol, they have only action on the alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 te kono effect. Therefore, newer agents, they only cause sedation and amnesia to some extent, but no anxiolysis or muscle relaxation. Okay? So, let's see what we have written here. The pharmacological effect of sedative hypnotics. Pharmacological effect of sedative hypnotics. Number one is sedation. Okay? So, sedation decreases anxiety, cause calming effect, disinhibition, euphoria, impaired judgment, loss of self control. You see, that is very important. Practical knowledge. Anxiety, coma. Okay? patient is GST fine for it. The echo chinta, the rate chinta is good. Tension is a half of that. So, classical, regular check of classic patient, regular alpazolam. Okay, can you alpazolam should do the patient? Who must be? Patient anxiety that is common. Okay, patient will feel calmness. Okay, but what is the problem? Disinhibition, impaired judgment. Okay, one of the situation, judgment in it. Alprazolam creates a problem in that. It causes disinhibition. You are not going to say, I Okay. During the effect of the drug. So, th these are the problems. Loss of self-control. Antidograde amnesia. No memory of the events during the drug's duration of action. Okay. You see, those who consume high doses of alcohol. Rattivala kochur khawaya gache, paradina mune ni agati na tiki bote. Haito. The same effect happens in case of alpazolam. Okay, alpazolam they are high in high doses, they tend to form it. Rapid to That is called anterograde tablet. Same thing happens in alcohol. In case of Alzheimer's disease, why should they have Alzheimer's condition? Tokon hoi chigil ultu. Tokon ki hoi, tokon hoi retrograde tablet. This is anterograde and Alzheimer's retrograde.
that's why you have probably heard the name that is x snacks okay that is called party drug date trip drug or we call party drug that is x snacks what is x snacks x snacks is alprazolam okay in case of party so what happens date trip drugs so these these alprazolams are given and what happens the patient becomes disinhibited there is impaired judgment loss of self control and the patient forgets what happens during that episode okay next is hypnosis hypnosis benzodiazepine barbiturates i have already told newer agents only in induce the sleep but does not affect the rem and non rem sleep also you can see anesthesia in case of barbiturates anesthesia may happen stage 3 anesthesia anti convulsant effect clonazepam lorazepam diazepam phenobarbital these are given in case of epilepsy okay muscle relaxant effect is there an effect on respiratory and cardiovascular system in case of heart failure there may be precipitation of respiratory and cardiovascular system so what is pharmacological effect sedation hypnosis anesthesia anti convulsant and muscle relaxant so what are the therapeutic uses number 1 you write it what are the therapeutic first the therapeutic uses first the other number 1 hote chhe in case of anxiety number 1 therapeutic use in case of anxiety number 2 in case of sleep disorder insomnia number 3 prior to anesthesia kalke patient er oti hobe আজকে রাতে ঘুম আসছে না টেনশন অ্যাংজাইটি সো ইউ গিভ অ্যালফাজোলাম ওকে আগের দিন রাতে একটা অ্যালফাজোলাম দিল পেশেন্ট পেশেন্টের মাসেলটাও রিল্যাক্স থাকে ওকে নে দেন ট্রিটমেন্ট অফ ডিপেন্ডেন্স অফ ইথানল অ্যালকোহল ডিপেন্ডেন্স ইটি গ্লোবাল দ্বারা ওকে নেক্সট ইন কেস অফ সেন্ট্রাল মাসেল রিল্যাক্সেন বাট নট ইউজড নাও ইট ইজ ইনিশিয়াল ম্যানেজমেন্ট অফ ম্যানিয়া mania manic disorder patient kepe gaye bada chinta ta jabe bolche okay agitated hoye royeche you give alprazolam reduce induce anxiety <coughs> calmness then fen slide cyclidin intoxication fen cyclidin toxicity you can also give benzodiazepine so anxiety sleep prior to anesthesia fen cyclidin toxicity then treatment of dependence of alcohol and initial management of men these are all uses of sedative and hypnotics so what are the most common adverse effects dose dependent depression of cns impact on day time activity that is the main problem patient is saying on a day bolbe je amar alcohol er rate khub hocche kintu ami dine class e boshe ghumachhi okay office e giye ghumachhi concentration rakhte parchi that is the that is the main problem dose dependent act. day time activity impacted anterograde amnesia a person have no memory of the events happened during the duration of action of the drugs that that's why it is i told already x nax day trip drug most commonly used for suicide as you already know delivered over to rakte wala pure us pheni che 50 taka what to do in case of toxicity flumazenil i have already told that is a competitive antagonist of benzodiazepine that benzodiazepine partly side of gaba receptor very short duration of action of flumazenil so hence dose may be repeated if required multiple time tomake diye jabe so what is the summary of the class hypnotics have having profound cns depression effect but sedative does not halogen or nitro group in the seventh position is required for their pharmacological effects all are highly lipophilic so have a rapid onset of action and absorption cross blood brain barrier placental barrier and secreted in milk should not be given in case of pregnant ladies and lactating mothers high elimination half life prolonged action newer agents have short duration of action and lesser side effects metabolized by cyp3a4 and both phase 1 and phase 2 phenobarbital is mostly excreted unchanged via urine 
forced alkaline diuresis to be done in case of toxicity. Very important as explained by him. Benzodiazepine is a GABA facilitatory, whereas barbiturate is GABA mimetic. Older drugs inhibit REM and non-REM sleep, which is absolutely unwanted. Better to give newer drugs. Newer agents only induce sleep and decrease the sleep latency period. Sedative hypnotics are also used preoperatively as muscle relaxant, infensilized cyclidine toxicity and initial treatment of mania. Flumazenil is drug of choice in case of benzodiazepine toxicity. Benzodiazepines are often used for suicide or notorious dead trip incidents. Thank you very much. pneumonia. Pneumonia is two common actors, lobar pneumonia. Lobar pneumonia is the main. Lobar pneumonia is main. What is the main? What is the main? Streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilus influenzae, staph aureus, or gram negative bacilli. Product fever, respiratory rate, pleuritic chest pain, GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, headache. Pneumococcal pneumonia, streptococcus pneumonia, but pneumococcus leading cause of lobar pneumonia are ki kore otitis media in children. ENT outdoor e jash, ENT e patient er modde dek bhi praya dosta patient er modde tin chatta patient definitely pabhi e rakum kane otitis media, gaan thak e rakum purulent pass berot chhe. And meningitis in all ages, they are alpha hemolytic, alpha hemolytic maane ki ayush? Blood agar e alpha hemolysis maane partial hemolysis korebe and present as common cells in the human upper respiratory tract. Normally, common cells are not there. Now, that differences between streptococcus pneumonia and virulent streptococci. Streptococcus pneumonia is a gram-positive cocci, allergen pairs. Virulent streptococci is a lumbar chain. Lancelot shape is a round or oval. Capsule is a streptococcus pneumonia. Virulent is a thakena. Blood agar e drawsman ba carom coin colonies. Carom khelish? Common room e a chhe? Common room ta hi nahi. Hostel e? Jai hok, manne carom e r guti r moto dekhte colony gula hai. Ar optotin sensitive ar resistant. Ebar virulence factors gulo. Tale o 3 ego. What do you do with lower pneumonia? First of all, capsule. Capsule is an important virulence factor. Bacterial pathogenicity is a good thing. Bacterial pathogenicity is a good thing. Kumar Jyoti, sir. No, Bhashwati, madam. Do you want to see it? 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 The principal virulence factor is capsular polysaccharide. This precipitates with the C-reactive protein, which is a marker of acute inflammation and raised in many acute inflammatory conditions. Our key virulence factor is pneumolysin. It inhibits neutrophil chemotaxis and phagocytosis. Autolysin, amidase enzyme that Pneumolysin, autolysin, amidase enzyme that kills its own peptidoglycan, autolysis of the cells. Other virulence factors glow key key, pneumococcal surface proteins, IgA protease, neuraminidase and pneumococcal surface additin. Tale, O3, jodhi amra jigesh kori jay key key virulence factors, tale key polvi, prathomen, capsular polysaccharide, carbohydrate C antigen, pneumolysin, autolysin and others glow, apotan mathar rana kyo cholbe. Clinical manifestations ki ki hai, lobar pneumonia, empyema, invasive pneumococcal disease are non-invasive manifestation. Invasive ki ki hai, infection confirmed by the isolation of pneumococci from a normally sterile slide site. Bloodstream e infection kare, pyogenic infection, biogenic meningitis. Causes of meningitis in all ages except in neonates. Neonates ba bachchadet chara, 
সব এই যে করে আদার্স কি কি করে children less than 2 years splenectomy sickle cell disease and other hemoglobinopathy are underlying comorbid conditions like diabetes kidney heart failure is almost nature of the infecting serotypes most common are 6 and 19f in india the 1619a and 19f eglo kore ar children e satta serotype mes lik ye kore ta laboratory te amra ki kore diagnosis korbo eta hotri specimen collect korbo jodi pneumonia hoy most common sputum ki hobe डिप्लोक কামার ফকুর ইট ডিফিকাল্ট টু কনসেন্ট্রেট কিছু হয়েছে বাবু দ্যাট ফাস সেলস এন্ড ল্যান্সুলেট শেপড গাম পজিটিভ ডিপ্লোকাকাই সারাউন্ডেড বাই আ ক্লিয়ার হ্যালো ক্যাপসুলের জন্য কেমন না আর কি কি করব এই যে ক্যাপসুলের অ্যান্টি ইনজেকশন এন্ড সিএফএ বাই লেটেক্স অ্যাগ্লুটিনেশন টেস্ট আর সি অ্যান্টিজেন পাওয়া যায় ওটা ইমিউনোক্রোমাটিক এফেক্ট টেস্ট কালচার কিছু করব ब्लड আগারে ब्लड আগারে ডর্সম্যান বা ক্যারম শেপের কলোনি ইয়ে করে আলফা হিমোলাইসিস পার্শিয়াল হিমোলাইসিস ক্যারমের গুটির মতো এরকম জোন জোন হয়ে যায় চকলেট আগারে গ্রিনিশ ডিসকালারেশন ডিউ টু ব্লিচিং এফেক্ট এই যে দেখ আলফা হিমোলাইটিক ডর্সম্যান শেপের কলোনি এগুলো হচ্ছে আলফা হিমোলাইটিক কলোনি ব্লাড আগারে সেনসিটিভ টু অপটোচিন কালচার স্মিয়ারে ওরকমই আর বায়োকেমিক্যাল টেস্ট হচ্ছে বাইল সলিবল অপটোচিন সেনসিটিভ ইনুলিন ফারমেন্টেশন serotyping by coiling reaction multiplex hocche pcr treatment kibhabe korbo beshir bhag shomoy to oral therapy with amoxicillin for 5 days standard treatment alternative drug deya hoy iv penicillin ba ceftriaxone indoor patients e beshir bhag shomoy te dekhbi je injection ceftriaxone deya hoy thik ache stable children e penicillin ba cefotaxime ba ceftriaxone critically ete ট্রিটমেন্ট সেম অফ মেনিনজাইটিস আর যখন ওটাইটিস মিডিয়া করছে তখন কি দেব ওরাল অ্যামোক্সিসিলিন ফর 7 টু 10 ডেজ ড্রাগ রেজিস্ট্যান্স কি কি পেনিসিলিনে অনেক সময় রেজিস্ট্যান্স হয়ে যায় তখন যখন অল্টারেশন অফ পিবিপিপি টু পিবিপি 2 এ তখন কি কি হয়ে যায় তখন পেনিসিলিনে তাহলে রেজিস্ট্যান্স হয়ে যায় রেজিস্ট্যান্স টু পেনিসিলিন এজোমাইসিন টেট্রাসাইক্লিন ক্লিনামাইসিন এন্ড সালফোনামাইড সেরোটাইপ 19 এ হচ্ছে মোস্ট কমন সেরোটাইপ টু এক্সিবিট মাল্টি ড্রাগ রেজিস্ট্যান্স কেন ক্যাপসুলার সুইচিং সুইচিং এর জন্য নিমোকোকাল ভ্যাকসিন ভ্যাকসিন বিডিছে পিএসভি 23 পিএসভি 13 23 এটা হচ্ছে 23 ভ্যালেন্ট ভ্যাকসিন আর 13 হচ্ছে নিমোকোকাল কনজুগেট ভ্যাকসিন শুনছিস কভারেজ হচ্ছে কি 70 to 80 percent of the invasive serotypes are at such a 30 to 40 percent of the invasive serotypes immunogenicity is less immunogenic it is more immunogenic it is not the same pneumococcal vaccine it is a hemophilus influenza pneumonia it is very important to see that the hemophilus species is oxidase positive and capsulated pleomorphic gram negative bacilli it is hemophilus hemo means blood phylus means loving Special growth factors present in blood like factor X and factor V. Hemo means blood, phylus means loving. Kiki, when we do hemophilus influenza, we do pneumonia and meningitis in children. We do correct STD, Shankroid, and Egyptius, Egyptius, conjunctivitis, and rashes. We do not have to say that. Hemophilus is Pfeiffer's bacillus. I use the bacillus of the bacteria, so I use the bacillus of the bacillus.
ग्रेलुलर फैक्टर देखाने होता है कैप्सुलर पॉलीसेकराइड बैक्टीरियल एंडोटॉक्सिन बेस्ड ऑन द कैप्सुलर पॉलीसेकराइड इट कैन बी टाइप्ड इनटू सिक्स सेरोटाइप्स सबसे की ग्रेलुलेंट होती हीमोफाइलस इंफेंजी सेरोटाइप बी हीम हीबर कैप्सूल होती यूनिक केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर मेड अप ऑफ पॉलीराइबोसिल फॉस्फेट एंटीजन स्ट्रांगली इम्यूनोजेनिक और पी ए पी आर पी एंटीजन का टी यूज्ड फॉर वैक्सीनेशन की की कॉरेस सीएनएस इंफेक्शन एपिग्लोटाइटिस और कम्युनिटी एक्वायर्ड बैक्टीरियल निमोनिया लेस कॉमन ऑटो दौड़कर नहीं और की की कॉरेस चाइल्डहुड ऑटाइटिस मीडिया एक्सोसर्बेशन ऑफ सीओपीडी मोस्ट कॉमन कॉल निमोनिया इन एडल्ट विद अंडरलाइन सीओपीडी और एज साइड बीच से एक दौड़ता तो दौड़कर नहीं होते एपिडेमोलॉजी ट्रांसमिशन होते सभी ड्रॉपलेट इनहेलेशन जे कोनो निमोनिया बर्नर को बेसी शॉक समय ते होते ड्रॉपलेट इनहेलेशन एज होते लेस देन 5 इयर्स एकदम बुरो आर बच्चा बर्न नो बुरो देर होबे आर बच्चा देर होबे लेस देन 5 इयर्स आर मोर देन 65 इयर्स हाउस होल्ड कांटेक्ट डे केयर सेंटर एस्पिनिया जदे स्क्रीन नहीं तादे स्पेसिमेन निमोनिया होले स्पोटम मेनिनजाइटिस होले सीएसएफ प्रोसेस करे की देखबो एखाने pleomorphic gram negative coccobacilli capsular detection by coelan reaction antigen detection by latex agglutination test direct immunofluorescence by elisa ei dekh blood agar with staphylococcus aureus this pick kore dile satellitism dekhay other ki ki ete use kora hoy chocolate agar ba fields agar ba leven cells agar ar hocche je biochemical test such as x or v or automated systems like mallitoff and vitex molecular method pcr सैटेलिटिज्म तक की ये देख सैफाइलो कॉकस छोड़ी दी इसी चॉकलेट आ गए तो हाँ चीज क्या ना होता है सैफाइलो कॉकस देखने से की छोड़ी दी इसी शेखान से के सैफाइलो कॉकस से की करे ब्लड आ गए की सीलो स्टाफ हो रही है स्टाफ हो रही है होएगा से स्टाफ पड़ा नो वैसे आज की तो सब को कॉकस होते हैं स्टेप टू आर हिम होम होम टास्क दीची नेक्स्ट ये तो पूरे ऐसा मतलब बोल दी कि सैटलिटिज्म की ना पढ़ ले बोझा वो ठीक है सर ट्रीटमेंट की कर वो हीमोफाइलस इन्फ्लुएंजी इन्फेक्शन है फॉर इन्वेसिव इन्फेक्शन जो तो हीमोफाइलस इन्फ्लुएंजी टाइप भी सेफ टैक्स जोन सेफ टैक्स दिन फॉर वन टू टू वीक ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस Those strains are usually susceptible to quinolone, digofloxacin, by azithromycin. Profile axis key, vaccine to key kora hai. PRP by polyribosyl phosphate capsular antigen ke use kora hai for vaccination. A capsular antigen so chhi poorly immunogenic to children. Conjugated with adjuvant, key key adjuvant use kora hai. Dipteria toxoid, chitinous toxoid and nizira meningitis is outer membrane protein. This reduces the rate of pharyngeal colonization with him. She will keep national immunization program in under a HIV vaccine. The board of Kahun they are national immunization program. A combination with DPT, hepatitis B, Shate, 6, 10, and 14 weeks. They are high. Come on, Pukur. National immunization schedule, HIV vaccine. The Kahun they are high. Choi, those are chodo shop. Intramuscular route and the anterolateral aspect of the thigh. More than 95% of the infant, infants develop protective antibody levels after two or three doses. Prophylaxis ki hai bade bamba oral reform ke sin hote drug of choice. It is indicated for household contacts or healthcare workers. Ever se staphylococcal pneumonia. Staph pora na hoye chhe. Ek bas staphylococcal pneumonia ta amra ek bas chok bolii ni. Infant pneumonia, a staph skin to chhe, leading cause of pneumonia in newborn and infants, presents with dyspnea, fever and respiratory failure, chest, etc. Amra ki dekhte pa ba otri? Otri? Staphylococcal pneumonia te chest, etc. Ki dekhte pa ba? Nematocin, complications hoche pneumothorax and empyema. Agi ki ki kore, VAP in adults, post viral CEP as Community acquired methicillin resistance, cephalococcus pneumonia, gram negative bacillus pneumonia, gram negative jokon hobe, tokon amra porbo. Chigache? Igla asker modi kiki buste parlina bol. Action jodi pneumonia hai, taliki, sputam hobe, meningitis holi, CSF hobe, bloodstream infection hole, blood hobe. Matha duke galo, 
তারপরে প্রথমে হচ্ছে ডিরেক্স মিয়ারের একটা মাইক্রোস্কোপি ডিরেক্স মিয়ারের মাইক্রোস্কোপি সেখানে অর্গানিজমটা গ্রাম পজিটিভ বা গ্রাম নেগেটিভ সেরকম একবার লিখবি ডিরেক্স মিয়ারের পরে কালচার কালচার করে সেখান থেকে গ্রাম স্টেইনিং এই হচ্ছে প্রতিটা ল্যাবরেটরি ডায়াগনোসিসের বেসিক ফান্ডা এইটা সব সময় মাথায় রাখবি তাহলে প্রতিটা ল্যাবরেটরি ডায়াগনোসিস আলাদা করে করে মুখস্থ করতে হবে না স্যাম্পল কালেকশন ডাইরেক্ট মাইক্রোস্কোপি কালচার বায়োকেমিক্যাল টেস্ট তারপরে গ্রাম স্টেইনিং ঠিক আছে আলফা হিমোলাইসিস এই সেই গুলো কালচার স্মিয়ার আইডেন্টিফিকেশন ব্যাস আর ট্রিটমেন্ট ট্রিটমেন্টটা তো তোর এমনিতে ধরে ড্রাগ রেজিস্ট্যান্স নি শর্ট নোট আছে অনেক সময় তে পেনিসিলিন এর রেজিস্ট্যান্স পিবিপি টা পিবিপি 2 এ হয়ে যাচ্ছে মাল্টি ড্রাগ রেজিস্ট্যান্স হয়ে যাচ্ছে ভ্যাকসিন গুলো এমনি ভাইভাতে ধরতে পারে খুব একটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট নয় ব্যাস ঠিক আছে তাহলে সেপটোকাকাস নিউমোনিয়া মোটামুটি পড়িয়ে দিলাম এটাই আজকের এতে ছিল সেপটোকাকাস নিউমোনিয়া এন্ড ইনফ্লুয়েটা সিবেট খুব বেশি কিছু আসে না হিমোফাইলাস সিনসেনজি ওই কি করে ফাইফাস ব্যাসিলাস জাস্ট ভাইভাতে আসে খুব একটা এরকম সরল মানে থিওরি তো খুব একটা আসার কথা নয় কেমন আর যদি কোনো কিছু না বুঝতে পারিস আমাকে তাহলে বৃহস্পতিবারে বলবি কেমন চলো বাই এভরি এভরি ওয়ান অফ ইউ হ্যাভ আ গ্রেট উইকেন্ড বাই